beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're gonna go Halloween hunting again I have to do some errands like go to Dollar Tree Sam's called boring stuff but I figured since I have a little bit of time today we're gonna go Halloween hunting I wanted to wear makeup today but I have to film a video this afternoon and go to a baseball game so I figured I'd let my skin breathe for a little bit so yeah that's what we're doing today I just went to home goods <laughs> because it's 9 30 and they just opened and I ran to a lady I ran in previously. She was buying little fairy witches and she told me she bought a gesture. She was showing me like this gesture she drove like two hours for. And yeah, so, you know, the frequent shoppers are in there today. And I was super like, eh, about home goods today because I feel like it's nothing new that I haven't seen. There was one thing that I really, 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 really wanted. It's been on my wish list for like, uh, I'd say probably two or three years. But I didn't realize how expensive it was because I'd never seen it in person before. It's this Joanna Parker bowl. It's just like a, a bowl, Joanna Parker style, but sh that bowl is $60, $59.99, and I can't do that to myself. Like, it's cute as hell, don't get me wrong, but it that's not a practical purchase whatsoever. So I skipped on that. In the aisles, though, in the first aisle of Halloween, it was a lot of the same things that we have seen. I'll show footage of everything that I saw. It was a lot of the same things we've seen. It was a lot of... Basic skeletons, Day of the Dead skeletons, and gnomes everywhere. This also had a lot of plushies in this first aisle. I noticed there was a lot of plushy type things. In the aisle across from it, like the next aisle over, it was gnome central and Ray Dunn central and dishware central. I did not find any cute spooky bowls. That's what I was after. There was a bunch of plates, some really cute small plates that I really wanted, but I don't need a bunch of small plates in my house since I already have a set of them. It was a lot of dishware, a lot of gnomes or ray dunn and then ray dunn gnomes on top of that so honestly it wasn't too too much i did find some drying mats with little bats on them from martha stewart collection you get two for 7.99 so i got some drying mats because i only owned one and it's a ouija board that i got from the christmas tree store like four years ago but yeah so that's all i found we're gonna head over to big lots and ross now and see what they have in store all right so went to big lots and ross i did not get anything at big lots and i spent ten dollars at ross so big lots first they had a lot of the same things we had seen i'm still not finding what i'm after which is those little ghosty guys little ceramic ghosty guys with little bat prints in them so at big lots they have a big witchy line that's kind of like different because there's a lot of blue in it i don't know why there's a lot of blue in it i'd rather see a lot of purple in a witchy line but it is different they have a lot of dragon scaled pumpkins and skulls and hands holding mirrors and hands holding coffins and it's just a whole kind of witchy aesthetic but a little bit more fun because i feel like the blue brings a little more youthfulness into it not most personally my taste but i do think there's a lot of variety there i do feel like the pillows though 15 dollars for all the pillows pretty expensive for a big lots pillow i feel like because they're not like squishable you want to use the pillow they're definitely decorative pillows so there's that on the other side is more of their fall classic or halloween but with like a cutesy twist again more cutesy they had some more of the little gnomes that we saw last time they had the cat pillow they had those little stand-up guys that i'm thinking about getting the ghost one and kind of covering his eyeballs i don't like those way his eyes look it's like one of those little fake trick-or-treater guys that stand in front of your doorstep i'm thinking about getting the ghost one he's ten dollars i just don't like his eyes so i think we'll make his hat cover his eyes there's a lot of that kind of thing there's a lot of like country core country cottage chic fall farmhouse situation in there so yeah that's kind of what big lots had going now to ross ross's aisle was very narrow so it's actually hard to take footage of this because i feel like i was already against the thing beside me because it was like squished in between so this had generic not really that exciting halloween things they had some candy bowls with vampire teeth on a gnome which was a little bit different on the opposite side they had a little bit of the metal work that i actually love from ross i have all of them that i really wanted i grabbed another one of the little bat it's like a door knocker situation but it has a big ring on it so i'm thinking about using them as towel holders because now i have two i only had one last time i had nothing to do with it so yeah i'm thinking about using it as towel holders everything there was just kind of mm, mm, mm. all of i did have two tiktoks about the ross spooky skeleton decanters um and that like got a lot a lot of views and now there's no more here they had a ton of them last time we were here which was about a week ago now there's none of them so I feel like everyone saw that, loved it, and went and got it. A lot of people asked me what location I got it from. I told them, and, you know, now they're all gone. Um, but also, people just seeing any random person that sees that is definitely going to want it for the price. $6.99, you guys. But, anyways, that was what was at 
Ross, also th something I meant to mention from Big Lots is if you see the Cracker Barrel ha Haunted House you want it, that's really expensive. They have the same exact thing at Big Lots for $25 instead of like $45. So there's a good way to save money on the Haunted House people love. I think it looks really pretty, but I feel like I would just be paying for something that I wouldn't use the sound effects for. So, you know, I didn't get anything. But yeah, that's what we're at. I'm going to go to Joanne's next. Joanne's and TJ Maxx were both a little dead honestly so joanne was a whole problem i didn't see that the little there's a little note on the door that says cash only i didn't see that sign when i came inside so i had to wait 20 minutes in line there was only three people in front of me 20 minutes in line because one lady wanted a gajillion transactions and it just took freaking forever only one register open just to get the register to find out i you know i'm glad i had some cash on me but the stuff at Joann's, they honestly didn't have anything new. Everything was 40% off, though. I really wanted to get the giant spiderweb doormat. But I was hoping maybe I could wait till it's like 60% off or something. So they had 40% off the Halloween. I would say most of the witchy occult collection is whipped, gone, dead. You can get some of the napkins, uh, one or two of the hand towels. I got the moon mirror. And there's like some hexy girl mugs and stuff. A lot of the classic Halloween stuff is still there. But a lot of like the dishware is already been picked over and stuff. So Joann's really didn't have anything new at all. I really wanted some of that witchy stuff. But I got the moon mirror. So it was 40% off. It was $59.99. 40% off that came out to like $36.99. And I had a $5 off $35 coupon on the app. So I, I think I spent like $37. And I got this little tote bag as well. Because I, I love the reusable tote bags. So yeah, that was that. At TJ Maxx now there was nothing new I would say honestly I feel like maybe like the new stuff got picked up earlier in the week since it is the end of the week now um but they had nothing new they had some dishware some cups and stuff they had some so they had so many cute hand towels like dish towels but all the ones I really thought were super cute were non-absorbent so I was like oh they're cute but I have other cute ones that are just decorative don't absorb things let's not spend a bunch of money on hand towels you're not even going to dry your hands with skipped that they had a whole bunch of like little figurines and stuff it didn't feel like as much candles and as much like blankets and doormats and stuff as other stores this one seemed mostly like just like little ceramic pieces like things like witches or dogs dressed as witches pumpkins peanuts figurines plushies and stuff so that's basically what was at tj maxx i ended up finding another one of those like joanna parker squishy mats that i could put in front of my heat press because Standing there a long time hurts. That was $16.99. And then I found these placemats. These were $12.99 for four. I need to find a dining room table. I went to the thrift store this morning trying to find a dining room table. They only had one that was already sold. So I, I need to find a dining room table for our front room. But I figured when I have one, these are just the cutest placemats in all the world. So for $12.99, I thought it was a lot for placemats, but they're cute and they're rewashable. So we're going to head down to Michael's now. I need the Michaels stuff. <laughs> I hope they had the Audis line at this one. All right, Michaels. Now they did have the two main lines there, but it was very compacted. They did not have everything. So let me tell you what they did have. They had the kind of, I'm calling it like the oddities and authors thing. I know it's not the name of the line, but that's what makes me think of because it's all like oddities and Edgar Allan Poe and different writers and stuff. So they had that line. They did not have everything because there's some certain things like this, be our ghost sign like instead of be our guest sign that i'm looking for they didn't have everything they didn't have the curiosity cabinet either i really want that curiosity cabinet but they did have some of the poe busts some of the little cauldron crystals some of the oddity signs they had one of the vintage signs the vintage line is not out yet in most stores but some stores do have it and it was really cute i'm in love with the wreath from this collection it's 60 dollars. even with a 20 percent off coupon in the app i'm not willing to do it but once that thing is like 40 60 percent off i need that wreath in my life it is so beautiful <laughs> and then the other line they have there is the more romantic i'm calling it like a lot of they have a pastel goth uh collection coming out soon that some stores have most don't yet that i'm like <sighs> hate so much but this other line they do have is this more romantic one they have tons of skeleton couples and skeleton women in bubble baths and a skeleton woman on a moon it's very romanticized uh situation a rib cage kind of shaped like a heart with roses on it i really like the rib cage actually i think about painting the roses black so i would like it more 
but they have a lot of romantic things in this side it's not really my line but there's some things i think some people would really love because of the bright red rich reds and stuff bright red rich reds bright colors and stuff and then you had the wreath stuff that we've seen a million times that I didn't even take footage of because I feel like we've seen it. But I'm still thinking about that urn vase, you know? So nothing's on sale yet. If you get the Michael's app, you get 20% off. I got a little snake trinket holder and two little potion bottles that have like a string on it to be hung. Because I'm really trying to finish up our entryway, which is like, again, kind of the oddities theme from that collection and kind of made my mind up in that room. So yeah, I'm waiting for some more things to come out there. It was mostly the things that I have seen before. And let's go to At Home now and see if they ever get their Halloween collection out. All right, I say all right every time I come back to a clip, I swear, I just hit myself with a tassel. So At Home, I'm still disappointed in you At Home. There's still a full stocked aisle of 4th of July. It is now August. But they had a little bit on the end caps and stuff. So mostly what I saw at At Home was glass bottles, plastic bottles, like just those little, just like little storage bottles of different kinds. They had skulls, they had long skulls, regular potiony shapes, a plump potiony shape. They had a frog. It just, they had some Christmas ornaments. It just was not great. I mean, they had a little ghost too, the little ghost guy from their like, their cutesy Halloween line. He was there, which was cute, $14.99, but I didn't get him because it was a little too cutesy, I think. But I just need them to step it up. Everyone else has been stocked since the beginning of July. Except this one. This one doesn't like me very much. And then I went over to PetSmart because, you know, your girl always needs cat food. <laughs> and I didn't expect to look for I wasn't looking for Halloween or anything. I was just shopping for my cats. And they had Halloween stuff, so they had a little section in the front. I really like the hat houses this year. One is more of a circusy theme, one is more like just like a, a fun house situation. One is $19.99, the other one is $35. I was like, oh, that's the one I want, the two story one, but $35, no way. They had some cute little collars, some cute pop up toys and crinkle bags. And the uh, other section beside it was Disney Hocus Pocus themes. So they had a whole section with like the same kind of toys, both Hocus Pocus on the print. Those are really cute. I'm jealous of the dog selection though. Because because the dogs have like a Freddy Krueger sweatshirt. They have a Silence of the Lambs t-shirt for dogs that I'm like overly jealous of. And the dog selection had like a little jack-o'-lantern with like little dog treats in it. It was cute. But you know, I didn't expect to the, do Halloween shopping at Petsmart today. But you know, that's where all my money goes anyways. <laughs> so anyways, that is it for um, today. I'll see you guys next time I go Halloween shopping. Hi. So today we're going to go to Spirit Halloween. It is a just a brand new week and I heard that they were open. Now when you check on the map it says opens in August, it doesn't tell you. But I got intel on TikTok that Jacksonville has stores open so we're gonna go to the closest one today. It's gonna be closed, they're all closed. It might be closed or it might be open but not really fully stocked but either way we're going. All right, so we left Spirits. Uh, it was actually more stocked than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, this year, the thing I really just want from Spirit is I think we need a new animatronic, personally, but I want the Cult of, Ch or not, Seed of Chucky version of Tiffany from Chucky, clearly. Um, Cause I have the Bride of Chucky version last year from Spirit and I'm hoping this year I can find the Seed of Chucky version of her, but I didn't see her. But we did see some good stuff. They have a line of little witchy stuff that looks really pretty, a lot of moon phases, pentagrams, stuff like that. It's very pretty. There's also a wall of t-shirts like normal. They have some really cool t-shirts this year, but I bought way too many t-shirts in there last year because they looked really nice, but they shrink. So I'm trying to be good and not buy t-shirts from there because they shrink so badly. After that, we saw a whole bunch of Hocus Pocus things. The Hocus Pocus things, they actually have some new stuff that looks cute, like a little Bink statue. The Beetlejuice stuff, I really want the Zagnut, you know, hand holding a Zagnut bar, but I didn't buy it yet because I know it's going to be there the rest of the season, probably, unless it sells out because it's stupid cute, which makes me nervous that I didn't buy it. But they have cute Beetlejuice stuff. I feel like a lot of the stuff we've seen before, like, you know, the animatronic that's a spider and it jumps out at you and stuff like that. They do have a beautiful Lord Raven animatronic who is like a plague doctor mask situation crow guy. I love him. He's great. Portland likes the little small peekaboo kid like little skeleton. skeleton. No, he's not a skeleton. He's a clown. No, he's a skeleton. He's dressed as a skeleton. Okay. He's, he's a skeleton little short guy. He's called little something. Um, and then there's also a bunch of cute animatronics. They have really good animatronics this year. They also have, I know this is going to sell out immediately, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space animatronic. 
people love that movie. I love that movie too because it's so it. bad. We're gonna watch it tonight because he hasn't seen it. It's it's so bad that it's tasteful, you know, that kind of thing. People love that movie, so I think that's gonna sell out, especially because he's only two something and he's a really cool animatronic and he's really like big. So yeah, that was Spirit. We got a couple things, including a little Sam trick or treat holding a pumpkin. Um, he was like one of those little short ones. They had the cute version last year. I want the cute version still, but they had a scary version of him without his head on, so we got that one. Super cute stuff this year. I'm really excited. They also had a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff as always, but that's not really my deal, even though I do kind of want the teddy bear plushie. Hi, good morning. A whole new week. Today we're finishing up this video of the Halloween shopping, and I'm going to be shopping very quickly this morning because, uh, it's gonna rain at any moment and I just need to go out and do some errands and like go to like freaking Sam's Club again. <laughs> so I figured I would run in this week, check a couple things, be very particular about what I buy because budget is important when you've already spent this much money on Halloween. <laughs> so I went into Home Goods first thing this morning and I will say it had a lot of different things. However, Halloween is moving towards the back ends on the end cap so you can't see from the front of the store. They appear to be making way for Christmas stuff. It is mid-August, you guys, and they're already making way for December stuff. So, if you want something Halloween, get it now. I always say that, it, like, seasonal decor, if you love it, don't risk it being on sale. If you really like it, you could probably wait a little bit, you know? If it's, like, at a Marshall, not a Marshall's, like, at a, like, a chain that has this, the whole collection each year, like, Joann's or Michael's. It, like, home goods and stuff, you can't wait. Because, again, they get rid of stuff very quickly and it's not in every single store. So, you don't know if it's ever going to be there again. However, in Home Goods, ooh, it was so good today. There were so many things that I wanted. But I was trying to be good. Firstly, they had a whole bunch of dishware. They had a lot of the same dishware we've seen before. A lot of, like, freaking Ray Dunn and stuff. Also, a lot of Nomis everywhere. There was more Nomis than I've ever seen before in this Home Goods. A lot of plushy things. A lot of cups. Bowls. Things like that. I wanted this, like bat bolt that I can't find anywhere that I've seen people getting but then also in the front they had a bunch of jack-o-lanterns pumpkins more gnomes and metal decor a lot of metal was still there and then well quite frankly those are some pretty good aisles but it was nothing that like stood out I was like I need that and then I found the fall section and I was never really hopeful when I go in the fall section it's usually just like leaves and stuff they had a whole section of Joanna Parker mugs and two goblets so they had the pumpkin headed goblet they had the devil and spider mugs i don't have the spider mug Ugh, i need the spider mug i love the spider mug but i didn't want to buy the set for 20 bucks when i already have one of them um i know i could probably resell the devil one which maybe i should have got them for that price and i could have sold the one for 10 and then kept the one for myself that i needed um especially since my devil one is broken i repaired him but i don't care that he's broken he's mine they had those, they had some scarecrows. I don't really care if the scarecrows are too fall, not enough Halloween for me. And they also had another set of like the classic ones we see everywhere. The goblets were really cool. The goblets were $20 for two, really good price for Joanna Parker stuff. But what I got Joanna Parker, I saw these two things and I audibly gasped in the store. There are these hanging wooden dudes. There is a skeleton, which I bought him. I bought the skeleton and they also had a pumpkin man now i had to determine it took me a while to determine which one i wanted i went with the skeleton because a lot of times it's hard to find skeletons that are cute and this style you can usually find some pretty cute pumpkins so i left the pumpkin one there he was 25 dollars, but it is joanna parker and it's big and you can hang it on the wall it's gonna make a statement so i got that i was really shocked to see those wooden joanna parker signs out i mean honestly why i came out today is because people find such a good joanna parker stuff and i'm really jealous and also because i've been working a lot this week and i needed to get out of the house and like reset so yeah that's what i got um i got him he's super cute and also spent five dollars the checkout there was like a little ghost figure and i thought he was super cute and he looks vintagey and stuff he holds incense that are vanilla scented i don't care for that so i'm just gonna use him as a cute little decor thing so yeah that was home goods there was so much good things but again a lot of it's moving to the end caps they're moving halloween out very quickly this year so i'm gonna go down to big loss and ross now because they're beside each other and also because it's beside an ulta and i need to make an ulta return to get rid of the rem stuff that i hated so I went to Big Lots, Ross, and Ulta because they're right here. 
Big Lots, <laughs> let's, let's start off with the positive here. Big Lots didn't have anything new. I took a little bit of footage of some things that they had less of before, but they had nothing new. They didn't have the little ghost figurines that I've been looking for from there, so I didn't get anything from there. I'm so mad, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Went to Ross, Ross was the holy grail. <laughs> they had, didn't have much, like their Halloween section had shrank again like Home Goods had us too. But so they had some really good stuff. First of all, the first thing I saw from there, their candles are gorgeous. They have some beautiful candles. They're a little pricey for what I thought candles at Ross would be, but the candles themselves are beautiful. You could probably reuse this container for something really cute as well. And then I found a holy grail item for me that I didn't know existed. <laughs> I needed it so bad. So on their little Halloween thing, they had some Joanna Parker. They had a Joanna Parker cat bowl. The black cat Joanna Parker designed in a bowl form for $9.99. Uh, I started sweating immediately. They also had some cute salt and pepper shakers. They have some that look kind of Joanna Parker-esque, you know, that kind of vibe. And then they had some actual Joanna Parker little jack-o'-lantern instead of two salt and pepper shakers and coasters. Those are so, 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 so cute. Um, everything else is kind of meh because I saw the Joanna Parker and that's where my whole mind went to. Um, so yeah, it was a great time at the Ross today. I didn't find anything else at the store really. It was kind of just that front section and maybe like one or two like mugs there in like the kitchen section. Then I went to Ulta because I had to return the REM stuff and I needed a liquid eyeliner. Okay, sorry. I, uh, I went to Target to cool off where I told you what happened in Ulta. I don't know why I'm so insulted, but I am. So I go in Ulta. I need to make the return, but I also am looking for a liquid liner. I need a new liquid liner and I wanted to see a Too Faced lip color in person because online it looks really cute, but then when I Google that lip color because I like to see it on people before I buy it and stuff, it looks too red. So I wanted to see the color in person. I go to the Too Faced, you know, the luxury side of the store. It's beside like the Mac and the Laura Mercier and stuff. And this lady walks up and she talks on her microphone and she looks at me and it's fine. Like if you think I look suspicious and you want to tell everybody I'm in the store, I don't care. It's fine. But then she comes up to me and she says, do you need help finding anything today? And I say, no, I just want to look at this lip color. I'll let you know if I need help. Thank you. You know, I try to be nice. You know, I'm not a jerk. And I'm facing the lips. And I turn around to see what was behind me, thinking maybe it's like the better than Shirk's liquid liner. Because I haven't tried that, but the mascara is so popular. I'm sure the eyeliner is fine. Um, so I just turn around. I flip backwards. And she's like, are you still doing okay? I was like, she didn't say it quite that loud, but she's like, are you still doing okay? Like, yes, you asked me two seconds ago. Like, I felt harassed. And then when I, I told her, she just asked me two seconds ago, she's like, well, uh, okay. I'm like, like, don't harass me. I, okay, if you think I look suspicious and you want to talk on the phone and tell people there's someone on the floor, cool, I don't care. Like I said, I worked at Ulta for like six months. I know what the deal is. But don't harass me. Like, you had just asked me. I had been very polite. She told you I was just looking at the lip colors. I turn around to see what's behind me, and you're up my butt again. Like, it's so rude. The fact that she was taken back that I responded shocked me. Because what do you expect someone to say when you're harassing them? So, that's what happened. Also, I went to Target because I need to get my husband some work pants to cool off before I told you. Because... I don't want to come off as inconsiderate. However, she was inconsiderate. So I got a little mini KVD tattoo liner, a little NYX one, until I figure out what I'm going to do like for my go-to eyeliner because I keep trying them and I really like some, but then when they dry up, I want to try something new. So yeah, and then every time I buy a repeat one, like I really love the Uoma Cleopatra ink one and I bought a second one of it because I love the first one so much. I didn't like it anymore. It was too dry. So I don't know. I don't have a staple liquid liner, so I was trying to find one, but that's not happening today. But at least I did my return. All right, went to Joann's in TJ Maxx. I feel a little better now. I just ugh, was super not happy about the Ulta thing. So Joann's, honestly, dead. Dead. They had nothing new. I mean, they had a couple. Well, they did have two, two, two new things. They're ghosty things. One they had last year, but it looks better this year. It's a different version of it. It's a ghost bowl. And they also had this cute ghost big cookie jar. He's big. He's a nice, be beautiful cookie jar. She's cute. Um, but he's so cute, but he's like 60 bucks on sale. He's at 40% off. So he's like, I think 30 something, but he's cute. If he was 20 bucks, I'd probably buy, but not for 30 something. And everything else was basically the same stuff we've seen. Kind of just underwhelming. I don't know. It feels like they're already getting rid of it too, because their aisles have never been fully stocked. 
and they're already putting out Christmas behind the fall, like the fall floral, and they have Christmas behind it. So I don't really think we're gonna get much from Joann's this year, um, which kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to that witchy line, but it's been raided. They did have one moon mirror left if you're still looking for that though. And then I went to TJ Maxx right next door. TJ Maxx, they had Joanna Parker, which I did not expect. So they had some cups and mugs that they kind of typically already have. It wasn't anything special. I feel like I've seen those before. And then I get to the actual aisle. They have like giant Snoopy plushies and uh, jack-o'-lanterns and cute stuff. And then a lot of like dogs dressed as witches, animals dressed as things and cute dish towels. And I found Joanna Parker stuff. They have the cute little Joanna Parker figurines. All of the ghosts were labeled $7.99, but the pumpkins were like sitting right beside them and they had no labels on any of them. So I asked the lady if they were a set, they're not $7.99 per little character. I didn't get them even though I really wanted them because that adds up. I mean, eight bucks each, 16 for two little figures are gonna sit on a shelf. Eh. but I did end up getting some towels. They had four different styles of Joanna Parker dish towels, which are really cute. I've only seen one of the sets before actually. So they're like really cool. I haven't seen them before. I got one of them. I got the, I took a picture of it. It's these little ghosts. They only had one set of them. And one of the towels, the ghost's face is like, has some discoloration. Like he's been scratched up and there's like pink on him. But I was thinking I could just flip it the other way and keep the pretty side showing. So that's not that big of a deal to me. They were $7.99 for the set of two towels. One's the pretty Joanna Parker one. One's kind of just like a basic towel, but they kind of go as a set. So you get two towels for $7.99. I wanted to get the cute skeleton guy. Like I got the skeleton dude at home goods sorry home goods this morning and i wanted to get the other guy that matches the dish towels but i figure the white dish towels will use them all the time like even my decorative dish towels my husband doesn't get to their decorative and he uses them so I, I can't risk a white dish towel currently so yeah if they go on sale for like four bucks though i will get all of them <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna skip michael's not home today because i have to go to sam's club and i have a lot of work to do today it's probably gonna be another one of those work till 8 30 kind of nights you know so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video let me know what you think down below like today was a really good joanna parker day and I wasn't expecting it, but we got some good stuff and I didn't spend an overtly amount of money, you know?